Hello everyone, I'm Social Democrat Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. And right now we're taking a quick look at the border situation. So at the beginning, or not at the beginning, but the end of last episode, we were getting attacked quite a bit by uh, some Mexican nationals, and they they really want to enter the U.S. But we're thinking, no, guys, guys, please just stay over there. Please stay in Mexico. And it's not just the Mexicans; it's it's also Central Americans as well. A few of them, like from the Grand Republic of Central America. Uh, wait, who, who's... the Central American government thingamabob? Uh, oh, social... Oh, wait, no, that's Central American. Oh, Grand Republic of Central America, led by... Or that's basically... Guatemala. Guatemala. See, I don't know my Central American geography that well. But Guatemala. Good, you guys actually won! At the end of the last episode, or even during, like, most of the episode last time, these guys were getting attacked quite a bit. Now, hopefully they can recover enough so that when they get attacked again, they'll be okay. Um, let's see what's going on. So we got, we got our Navy operating. They're doing all right in the Caribbean, in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Mexican coast, and the Western Seaboard. Well, I guess we're not really over there, but we're also doing the Western Canal Sea Zone. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I wouldn't say my army's that strong, but, you know, they're doing a good job regardless. So, it's 1939. Hope you're all having a great, great year. Fuel, that's okay. I could do fuel stuff, but let's get some big explosive boys going. Alright, so, I'll, uh, in the meantime, get more strength. Oh, come on, get more strength, guys. You know what? You are in medium priority. Uh, You know what? I get for the funsies. Put you on high priority for now. And do that, but um, I want to address a few comments. So that looks a little different. Never mind. Oh, the cancel the least. Cool. So someone commented saying that I should play as a European nation in a next or a future playthrough in Ka in Führerreich, not Kaiserreich, but Führerreich. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Italy looks really interesting. It looks really interesting. France, France is all right. I mean, they do have a really cool focus tree and all, but. I might want to save them for another mod to play as France. Oh, I don't know, maybe we'll play as Fear like France. Italy looks really fun. It looks a lot like a lot of fun. Then again, I don't know that much about them, but you know, that's kind of the the mystery behind any nation. If you don't really know about them, they're kind of uh, a fun, interesting nation. Someone wants me to play as the Ottoman Empire, which I'm not opposed to. Right now, they have a generic focus tree. That's kind of cool. Uh, and I should, and someone said I should give. Constantinople back to their original owners. I mean, I would like to, but Greece actually took it over appropriately without any sort of influence from anyone else. And honestly, it looks pretty nice. Now, I'm not going to give it to Bulgaria, no way. But uh, this looks this looks pretty decent, honestly. I'm going. I think I'm going to keep it like that. I apologize if you don't like it like that, but you know, oh well. Battlecruiser research, anti-submarine warfare. These descriptions are great. A 75% research bonus for destroyer models. Also, if you didn't just notice, but uh, Serbia's back, actually. Oh, Mashriki Kingdom's killing Iran. Tbilisi, Pakti, what the heck? Transcaucasia. I always liked seeing Transcaucasia. I thought they were really cool. Hmm. So you have to become social democrat to actually do that. A union with the Mountain Republic. That'd be really cool. But they're dead already. Our own alliance. Hmm. Awesome. Uh-oh. Uh there goes Unon Cleek. Um, let's look at you guys. Valkus, Pack of Rome. And, of course, generic focus tree. Alright, no problem. Pact of Rome includes who now? So, you have the Valkists in Italy who took over... Basically, the Kingdom of Serbia, who are now Valkis, but then you have Hungary, who are authoritarian Democrats, and then libertarian socialists in Bulgaria. That is one heck of an odd ideological faction, I guess. Libertarian socialists, Valkists, authoritarian Democrats. Eh, I guess weirder things could happen. Losses so far, we've lost about 43,000 versus... Half a million. Ooh, recovery from starvation. We've recovered from the Great Depression approximately a year ago and have been improving ever since. The economy has been doing much better and our citizens have now been able to actually afford a healthy amount of food. With living standards on the rise and general economic improvement, especially because we're in a defensive war, we can con con 
confidently say we are no longer the sick man of the Americas. Now we're going to make Mexico the sick man. Because why, they, why, why are you attack me? I've done nothing wrong. Maybe I took Baja, California, but I did nothing wrong. You know. Remove malnourished populist sick man of the Americas. Well, I got political power out of that. And that. Very nice. Very nice. Cannot go to wartime mobilization. That's okay. Uh, I can't do that. Couldn't do that. I can only do naval aviation doctrine. Whatever. Fighters. Small ships. Uh, I don't really like using destroyers, to be honest with you. I really don't. Fighters would be better to do. Tanks. Light tanks are okay. I want medium tanks, though. Artillery. We're already, I think, using some sort of artillery. Let's get generic arms company. It's disappointing that it's just a generic arms company, but, you know, a little more soft attack, a little more breakthrough. Doesn't hurt us. What do we need right now? We need a lot of artillery. I mean, we need a ton of artillery. What are we building? We need more factories than what we're building right now. So, big old military factories. Hello. Hello there. Good. Good. I might improve social democracy, too. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. You guys should become quite good veteran units when you're done here. Of course, you need more supplies, of course, but whatever. And even though we are lacking a lot of artillery, we're still still holding out very nicely. Holy cow, that's low. That's not really high. They're attacking with 20 divisions against our 7. Yeah, but we do have air support, so that does help us. That helps us quite a bit. Ooh, it's advanced machine tools. Awesome. I could do more extraction, which we could probably use more extraction, but mostly just for chromium that we can't really extract too much of. I mean, 10% of 2, that's still less than 1. So that wouldn't be really worth doing. Uh, Collins, I did see that earlier. Nope, you got nothing for me. So be it. Hi, oh, MacArthur, do you have anything? Oh, infantry expert. Yes, please. Next up, oh, Alexander Patch. No, that's alright, that's alright. Let's have him go on for now. Ah, uh, Mexico, why did you have to go this crazy, the Invisible Menace? I still have a lot of manpower and a lot of divisions. Oh my goodness, guys, 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 please. There's, we have borders for a reason, like, you stay over there, and I stay over here. Let's not kill each other, man. Then again, they're, they're, this is an AI, and they're not gonna listen. Man, come on. Oh, but keep blowing up their ships. It doesn't really give us that much na more naval XP, but it does give us a little bit more, actually. Nice. I should probably start researching a land... A naval doctrine, I mean. A naval doctrine. Cool, another division. Awesome. Losses. Three quarters of a million. Look at the casualties. They're just rising like crazy. Well, not as crazy as I guess er earlier. Mexico, they really don't have that many factories. We have 220. They have less... Maybe 40. That's not much. Anti-submarine warfare, we have improved rubber processing. Muy bueno. Refit the battleships. A research bunch for battleship models. I love it. 1739, this stuff looks pretty good. Naval doctrine, since we're almost at our max. Ooh, before we choose, before we choose, we must choose the chief, chief of the Navy. Naval AA attack, capital ship armor, and attack. Indirect approach. Attack and defense isn't bad for convoys, too, actually. Power projection. More sortie efficiency... Naval max range factor, naval air attack, targeting, and agility from carriers. That's not bad, but you got to have a carrier for every fleet. Which might happen in the end game, but battleships are just so much easier to use. So I'm going to use fleet and being. I think that's this is the one I normally choose, or I like to choose. But I think it's still pretty worthwhile to do anyway. So, keep getting me more naval XP if you can. If you can't, well then, oh well, whatever. Um, oh, oh, that's a lot of war propaganda we could do. Oh, I did not realize this. Hello. Oh, why does some of these cost more than others? Well, I guess Mexico, yeah. Oh, wait, service propaganda. More population speed and a little bit more population just for a little bit? I don't like that. All right, oh, for a while they stopped attacking me. For a while, my guys could actually heal up and rest. Oh, infantry expert? Yeah, please. Absolutely. How's the uh, Joseph Stillwell doing here? He's becoming an infantry leader. That's good. Do we have planes around here? Central America? Fighters? Oh, they got more fighters than us. That's not good. Hmm. A little, little not bueno. How's Europe? Well, I'm kind of hoping that Italy goes to war with somebody sometime soon. Or France? Or the Soviet Union? Ooh, Commune of Estonia. Alliance with the peasants. Oh, they're fighting the Russian Republic. That's right. 
Alliance with the Peasants, using mass media. On the land, in the skies, on the ocean. Is that... Is, is this it? Please? Oh, there goes Bolivia and Peru. Please show me more of a focus tree for you guys. Please go to war with somebody, because if they don't go to war with anyone, I will manually force them to go to war with Germany, maybe? I might manually force Germany to go to war with, like, Poland, because they have a generic focus tree. I tried to use the Valkyrie submod for Fuhrer in this, but it breaks my heart a little bit that they're not doing anything. It really does. Oh, well. I guess I have to get involved then. Nice. Oh, don't want to forget those M Lees, M3 Lees. Artillery good. That's actually probably a bad idea to do now. This is disgusting. This is very disgusting. If anything, that, that should be given to the Soviet Union, but... Oh, well, let Japan and the Soviets kill each other off. Actually... Oh, that's an interesting flag. By Sangguo. I didn't realize that last time. Unite the nation. Refit battleships. You are fighting. Oh. Just China. And you're fighting Japan. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's not good for those guys. Refit battleships, though. Good. Further develop doctrine. A double 50% research bonus for naval doctrines. I love it. Oh, and they're still trying to attack me like crazy. Oh, man, you really don't have a lot of strength, man. But you're fairly seasoned. Just like my meat. When I barbecue. Fairly seasoned. All right, so what do you guys can do now? Patch. Good. Mm, yeah, more interwar fighters. Sure, why not? I'm going to throw you right down. I need more tactical bombers. I need more artillery. I need a lot of things. Huh. Where? Uh, actually, you guys should be increased to 100. Plus air support, that's fine. Increase, increase you to 100 as well. Southwest? Do the Sierra Madre. That's where we're going to attack. If possible, from here. Is that possible for us to win? If not, I will not attack anymore, Mark Clark. Oh, that should help us win more. Nice. Very good. And before I forget, I do want to... Ooh, invest. You guys... I'm actually going to save this group. You have three subs. Just throw them somewhere else. I did. I think I did create Stark, or... I gave Stark maybe some more upgrades. Because usually I forget to do Admiral upgrades. When's the last time someone remembered to put upgrades for their Admirals? Ooh, Ernest King. Uh, Minesweeper is okay. Avoidance is not bad. Mine layer, I never use mines. So, we're gonna wait for it until it gets more stuff. Seawolf, Fleet Protector, Screening, Fly Swatter, Air Controller, Iron Sides. Ooh. That's cool. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait, though. I mean, if we could win here, that'd be a giant slap to the face to the Mexican army. Like, they uh, constantly attacked me, but then as soon as I start attacking them, we win a battle. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. Now, we're probably losing quite a few guys doing this, but, and we're only 19 combat with, but whatever. Whatever. How much support equipment do I have? That's not bad. I'm going to need more though for what I want. Uh, keep one of you guys stationary. That'll be good. And, how many men have they lost? We've lost 62,000. They've lost almost 800. Good job, guys. You know, I'm quick with that next. Nice. First battle we attack to take actual Mexican territory to end this war. We do pretty well. Good. You guys keep holding on, holding on. Um, you know what? For our infantry divisions, I want some recon. Because there's a little bit more break, just a tiny bit more breakthrough, not that much more. I like recon so much. I don't know why. I have a problem. Ah, uh, but that's, that is a, that doesn't give us a massive deficit, though. Oh, Haiti. Sure, I'll take some guns. Further developed option. Awesome. Deal with Panama, we might as well. Panama's always tried to undermine our influence for too long. We have always respected their sovereignty, at least in the ways that matter. If they don't want to play by the rules, then we ain't either. Hmm, and oh, hello. Anybody want a vacation in Mexico? Perhaps in the desert province of Sonora? I think so. What if we just try to general attack? Would that be possible? Oh, that might not be possible in some areas. In some areas, no. Some areas, yes. 
That's, I guess it's worth risking. We'll try it. And you know what? Southwest Texas? Do that. We'll try that. There you go. You probably won't win down here. That's okay. Near Corpus Christi. Convoy's nice. Keep sinking them. There goes... Oh, Peru actually died. Huh. How much more man... I'm sure they got plenty of manpower, but... 136 divisions, not bad, not bad. And I want you guys to finish what you're doing, and then we're going to assess the situation. You don't need to attack down here, though. And you guys don't need to attack right there, either. Uh, you guys don't need to attack right there. We want to attack where we can win. Like, there. And take half of you guys to attack right there, too. Ooh, are you guys winning here? No. Well, then hold on. Courtney Hodges, you can wait. We don't want to just attack, attack, attack. What are we? Not very smart. Uh oh, we're going to lose Panama? God, I hope not. Why are we not sending more divisions this way as well? Oh, we have to go all the way that around. Oh, that's a long way around. Maybe they'll make it, maybe they won't. Fleet and being very good. It's 1940. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's get some improved competing machine. That would be muy bueno. I thought I told you guys to stop attacking. Yeah, don't need to attack. We probably have uh, 83,000 casualties. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, you guys can definitely attack from there. Just go through them and send one division from here. And... Gonna need more of those guys. We need more... Oh, God. We need more guns, artillery, and support equipment. Guns, artillery... Uh... Oh, we need more military factories. Most definitely. Awesome. We're gonna attack there next, probably. Awesome. Oh, we're attacking into mountains. That's never ideal. And maybe over the river to deal with Panama. Good. We can... Central American Incursion. Hmm. Or befriend Central American States. Now, it probably makes more sense to befriend them. Um. But most of them already want to kill me, so we must well do Incursion. Collaborate. Collaborators. Snakes. Valkists, even. And at least some of them... The same as Panama, but on a grander scale. We must, again, come to our own aid in bringing about democracy to the Americas. Democracy is non-negotiable. Stage 1 click was annexed. Very good. <clears throat> oh, they're still trying to beat us up here. Holy cow. If you can, please don't lose it there. Good. And grab some of this. This is a bad idea to do this now, but whatever. Mass motorization? Awesome. Let's grab some mechanized offensives. I still need more military factories. Screw everything else. I need more military factories. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Come on, win, 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 win. Good. Good, good. Oh, no, don't lose. No, don't you dare lose. Oh, mm, there we go, some stops. Oh, no, we lost it. Dang it. Oh, we lost Panama. Well, that means I gotta kill everyone down here. Oh, well. Ooh, shot down some planes. That's good. Artillery. Whoop. We're doing better on guns now. That's nice. Not doing great on support equipment. More, more, more. I need more. We need more. Oh, I'm a, some logistic companies. That's not bueno. God, there's so many rivers down here. What is this? Old World Blues? Oh. Alright, 
Alright guys, good luck. Um, you know what? I'll use whatever bombers I can get. Put it under Mark Clark. Still making more divisions for the border with Canada, which is awesome. Awesome. Ooh, nationalized key industries. That could be really useful. Holy cow. Uh, let's get some more service propaganda. No, war propaganda, though. That'd be good. Oh, you guys are not winning. That's disappointing. Well, looks like we're going to be stuck down here with bad supply. And an ever-increasing air force. I might just try to navally invade Panama, actually. That might be okay. You know what? Come down here. Come to Florida. So, Central America incursion. Bringing Central America into our sphere. The Southern Serpent might be a more formidable enemy than the look. It'll pay well to ensure that we surround them with satellite states by their southern border. Congress has passed a motion sending demands to Central America for installation of American-friendly governments. It's about time we get started. Uh-oh. It'll never happen here. This conflict has come to a head. Now we are at a crossroads. How will we respond to the constant border attacks? Well, I can tell you how we're going to respond to them, but you're not going to like my response. Cool. Need more guns. We always need more guns. They refuse our demands. Are being completely non-compliant. They refuse to accept our demands. Exciting that's hardly reasonable for us to demand them to give up their independence out of the blue. We threaten to meet non-compliance with force. However, our case of war is very weak. Not only that, but it might be internationally safer to drop the matter. Um, drop the invasion just because. I mean, the same thing with these guys. We're already at war with them. Oh, Salvador! The Salvadorians have accepted our demand and agreed to become an American tech protectorate. We're installing a friendly government right this moment. This will hopefully ensure that we surround the Mexican menace. So refuse our demands, that's okay. And Costa Rica. It pays to have allies. So, hopefully they'll join us. I mean, maybe they'll just invent for flavor. Maybe not. Oh, hello there. Oh, they're fighting everyone else. Um, you know what, just in case. Oh, we need so many divisions. Guard that area too. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull you off. You're a new field marshal. Less divisions on the front, but less supply issues. Because you're gonna come over to Florida. We're gonna start naval invading. Give me half. Or, I guess, a quarter. Come from Miami. I want you to invade. Oh, they're getting immediately attacked. Is it that? Uh, the capital, that'd be good. Yeah, capital. And then I want you guys to come from here to invade. Hmm. If you could attack that tile too, that'd be great. These guys might not make it over there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, sure. I'll take some stuff. Yeah. Attack that. And then come from Tampa as well. And help out... Ooh. God dang it, there was Costa Rica. Do that. Oh, you can't do that because I need higher levels of stuff. Oh, uh, you know what? Just go back to Canada for some of you. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Well, it was worth a sh shot. But is El Salvador with us? No, they're still not against us, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm going to continue to put soldiers into Patch's army. Oh, and with the removal of some of my divisions that they're actually leaving... Uh, they're trying to take back some of their own territory, but the supplies gotten better on here. That's good. Ooh, three more divisions. Nice. And, and three le- Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness gracious. Yes, 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 yes. One more. Great. Now, throw the rest of you guys back up north. There you go. Losses, losses, and then good, good old losses for them. Should be led by someone. Uh, out of supply, river attack. That looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Lucian Truscott. Awesome, and now they've started attacking me again. They must be out of equipment because they have enough manpower for now. I just really don't have a lot of other stuff. 
Let me do more research. How about planes? How are our planes so far? We definitely need more close air support, which I'll work on in the future. Naval bombers aren't bad. Ooh, fighters, though. Oh, it'll never happen here. Good. Get some to patch. Next up, we'll do put the Southern Valkus in their place. It isn't too late. Well, I'll do the 50th state, because why not? Ever since Hawaii was annexed, it's been embroiled in conflict, however minor. Perhaps if we bring it into the Union, they will come to see that they are too, indeed, American citizens. Absolutely. You're going to become an American citizen whether you like it or not. And before, when I'm done here, we're going to have one big old Central American state under the leadership of Costa Rica. That would be very lovely. Oh, Mexico, why must you assault me to the death? Quite literally, to your death. Ah, I love the taste of water. Mark Clark, pretty good general. Pretty, oh, is this France? Yeah. Alright, it's 1940. This is, come on guys, do something. Blow up somehow. The Middle East is on fire, but then again, the Middle East is always on fire. Let Europe go, you know, go kaboom. I know the commune is having troubles up there, but... Ah... Uh, Guys, glorify the soldier, Czech state, Slovakia. Spirit of freedom from the Ukraine. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Are we ready to go? I need to research more technology for this, but let's see what happens. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it won't be okay. Maybe it'll be really, really bad, actually, when I do this. But, you know, you never know until you try. They only have one division here, and it's not that great. Seven infantry battalions, and we have a little bit of artillery on our guys anyways already. Ah, but they might not make it. Yeah, though he probably won't make it down there. Can we take Panama? Oh, hold on. Hold on! We might be able to take Panama. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. What's the strength of Panama right now? Oh, they got political power. That's good. Very good. Very good. Oh, they're not that strong. That's the only division they have. Huh. Let's grab an Air Force person. I guess we'll do naval bombing, I guess. That's all I can do. And we almost have the 34. We almost have the next state. Awesome! The 51st state. Baja, California, please. Um, Refine naval invasion struggles or strategies. We get a research bonus for marines and transport models. Nice. If we can at least land here, that'd be awesome. Because I love to take the port. And they're are they attacking me here a little bit. Not much. Just a little bit. Just a wee bit. UK's over there. Oh, okay, they've signed a white piece. They're, oh, Mashriq, you got a little bigger, huh? You got Kuzistan. Alright, so be it. Oh, we landed! Good job, guys, good job. So I have you guys immediately attack this way. Immediately. So we can have eight divisions down here. That's so good. And we might be able to take Panama as well. Awesome. I'm going to let both of you guys get centered and organized. Uh, I'm going to attack El Salvador right now just because they were jerks to us. They didn't let us take them over, like, immediately. And oh, we didn't win there. That's okay. You know what we're going to do, though? We're sending everyone here. Nice. And there goes El Salvador. Thanks for the fuel, though. Thanks for a lot of the fuel. Nice. Cruisers, subs. What about carriers? Yes. Please... Not even gonna bother with you. There you go. Put you above those other guys and put you in LA. Awesome. Very good, very good, very good. That splits us up a little bit, splits these guys up a little bit more, which is kind of nice. So, are you guys still all getting here? That's okay. Let everyone get situated first, and I'm gonna divide these guys equally in half. All right, good enough. So, everyone's gonna come here. Vamanos to Mexico. And the other half, Vamanos to Panama. They all speak Spanish, so I think that's okay. Oh, Coast Guards. Oh, got more Coast Guards. Got better infantry equipment. Awesome. We're doing that. It's 1940. Let's grab some better artillery. And frankly, you guys can probably just head on out already. You should be okay. Yeah, look how, look how weak they are. 
Mexico. You really killed off a lot of your own guys. Now, I want to attack again, but I, we got to be careful. we got to be careful how we attack. We should be able to win there. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. We sh might be able to win here as well. I'm going to keep one of these infantry divisions here, too. Awesome. And since the Grand Republic of Central America has gone bye-bye. Muy bueno, my friends. Muy bueno. Awesome. Let's grab next. Desegregate the military, finally. The American mainland provides us with an enormous pool of soldiers to pull from, but right now we are only utilizing a portion of it. Mm -hmm. While we allow both black and white soldiers to volunteer, most mm -hmm. colored soldiers are relegated to non-combat roles. It's time to change this. The more guns in the field, the better. That's right. Old Huey Long just ended, or will end soon. Segregation in the military. That's right. Mm. Send me all but one. Come here. All you guys come here too. Kick them out. If you can, like, be successful if you can, but don't... This is why I don't want to use this AI order thing. Like, I want you all to focus, like, here. If you're going to attack this tile, you all have to focus there. And there goes Honduran Social State. Very good, very good. Guys, hold on, man. Here, you're not winning. Don't attack then, please. Please. You might not win over there, okay. Carrier holes. Oh, why don't I use any more carriers? I want more battleships. Oh, that's right, our battleships suck. Oh, they're really bad. Okay, carrier holes. I should have went with the other doctrine. Whatever. Oh god, we need, we need more steel as America? Oh my goodness, that's not good. Light tanks. Medium tanks. Land doctrine. Uh oh, there goes Republic of Nicaragua. Nice. Little sock tops. That's what we call these guys. Medium tanks, little soft tops. Good. And actually, go ahead and start training one of those guys. Uh, make it two. In Houston. Ah, uh, Houston. Very, very hot place to be. Uh, infrastructure. I need more steel. Okay, that doesn't give us that much more steel. Oil is nice and all. Don't really need more oil. Nevada, yeah, do that. Do Idaho, I think that's Idaho. Yeah. Ooh, oh, not Baja, California. Not Mexico, but that place. And then more military factories. And of course, radar stations and whatever else we really need. Oh, you guys are doing great. Oh, but I don't want everyone over here. Half of you guys gotta stay down here. And take out these guys. Oh, Costa Rica, you're back. Well then. Good, you're back. Cool. Take out Panama. Not bad. Yeah, Mexico's really called off a ton of their own equipment. That's insane. Oh, we need a lot more guns. Holy cow. Yeah, give me more guns. We have a lot of factories on, on artillery, though. That's really nice. But give me more guns. I need guns, 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 guns. Ooh, don't do that. Hmm, I could research this stuff, but nah. Support companies, logistic companies would be nice, but nah. Artillery's coming along, that's good. Oh, battle shawl, this is so bad. My navy's so un underprepared. Do that, improved computing machine, good. Get some more encryption, that'd be great. We're still trying to attack you. No, just stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop attacking and wasting lives. See, now, if you're attacking here, but then you're doing that, that's okay, probably. That's why you need two-front war against Mexico. Especially when they're pretty strong. And finish off Panama. They deserve to die. Muy bueno. Good, 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 good. Very nice. A 
Awesome. Mechanized defensives. Awesome. Let's grab some Kampf Grupa. Recovery rate organization. That sounds muy bueno to me. Very good, very good. Alright, kick him out of Panama. The Panamanians want chose their destiny, and I shall choose a destiny for me as well. Uh, okay, keep kicking him back. We've lost how many? 127,000 versus 1.36 million. I feel pretty good about that. We just desegregated the military, though, but we have the New York Project. Bodies just don't seem to be enough. And we could push through defenses and take land. It's just much costlier, particularly if the region was heavily defended. We just need an advantage of some kind if we want to avoid the great intervention level scale losses. And, of course, now... There is news of a new science project being worked on in New York. Perhaps we could use it. Ah, Panama, thank you for not playing. You are dead to me. And now we're really going to push hard from the south. We're going to really push hard. Uh, if we need to, once this area is taken, I will continue to push south through here. Uh, they still have a lot of manpower, I bet. They still have over a million. Wow. Los Vibras. We need more guns. Artillery is looking pretty good. We need a lot of medium tanks, which is fine. Good, good, good. Up attack. Oh, you guys already made it back up here. Nice. That's very good, actually. Can we get any more planes for this army, though? Naval bombers. Yes, interwar fighters. They're only interwar, but whatever. The Union of Social Soviet Republics. Soviet Social Republics to war on the Latvian Republic. Alright, well, whatever. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, Costa Rica. Oh, you went to war with the National Republic of Finland. Okay, well, whatever. Costa Rica, you know, I liberate you and you give me guns. What could be better than that? Liberation and firearms. Nothing. Nothing could be better than that. Get some more uh, armor. Oh, we broke through a little bit. No, it's a good job, guys. Oh, you're doing stuff. These guys might need a little bit of help. Give them a little bit more push. And, uh, you know what? Since we're pushing from the north, we're pushing this. We're pushing from the south, pushed from the north as well. Yeah, we're going to incur quite a few losses, but I'm kind of tired of looking at the same screen here. Like, just kill them. Please. They're, I know they're strong Mexicans and all, but... We're not going to win here, but that's okay. You're mostly a distraction over there. If we get like... I don't know, 300,000 losses, I'd consider that a good win. Field of manpower is much less than before. Now, only Mexico's alive, and well... They ain't doing well right now. You're getting attacked. That's okay. New York Project. I will take that focus. No, stop attacking. God dang it. Uh, healing past wounds. If we are to become an effective fighting force, we must forgive and forget. It was not our commanders or generals that who demanded our soldiers run headlong into a machine gun nest. It was not our commanders who prepared the plan that cost thousands of young Americans their lives if we were to stand shoulder to shoulder properly. <clears throat> and in order to, to do that, we will need to regain the trust of our soldiers in every rank. Not just one or two, but every rank. Crush them. Crush every single one of them. Yes, I know. We do have a debuff from it for attacking with the failure. And recovery rate isn't very good. But overall, with us attacking now, I believe we're doing enough damage that uh, that you really can't do much against us. Like, yeah, we're not winning everywhere. We're going to be incurring very high losses, but Mexico's going to suffer. Mexico has to suffer for what they've done. Attack here. If you can encircle these guys to the north, these guys will all die. That would be glorious. Good. That's good. That's really, really good. Surprised you don't have more upgrades. Courtney Hodges. And I will end the episode soon, too. Just to let you know. Um, encryption. Awesome. Let's get some more decryption. That would be good. Good. Let us win there. Oh, we're doing okay here. We haven't really moved too much, but we did kill those divisions up north. Awesome. 1936 heavy ship hull. Let's grab a 1940s heavy ship hull. Come on, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. You're not allowed to move. These guys have to be destroyed. Good. Immediately attack this way. They're surrounded. They're cut off. Give them hell, boys. Give them hell. Oh, they're already dead. They're, they're retreating. Nice. That's 3 plus 14 is 17. 17 plus 8 is 25 divisions. Mexico. Oh, Mexico. You gambled. You gambled hard, and you know what? 
you're gonna lose. You didn't play your cards right. Good. Ooh. Keep building up more military factories. I need military factories like there's no tomorrow. Wisconsin, you're gonna become one heck of an industrial base for the United States. Awesome. Look at this. Pathetic. Just put them out of their misery. Oh, there goes Bolivia. It's going to war with Chile. Ooh, that's a big Bolivia. Oh, there you go. Dai Nippon Taikoku declared war on the USSR. Huzzah! At least there's going to be a war here now. Oh, national government looks pretty good, too. Oh, they're fighting the... Those guys over there. Chinese... There's no Chinese faction. Healing past wounds. Awesome! We get more attack. Great! Uh, I'm still trying to save this focus for later, so I guess we'll make Baja California the 51st state. Baja California is absolutely not our first choice for an American state, but uh, <clears throat> it's an incredibly strategic position, and anyway, Union fervor is fully underway. Perhaps it'll get even under the skin of Southern Valkists. Oh, we're gonna piss them off as we destroy their men. Oh, what could be better than that? Good. Now, I want to end this episode by us taking Mexico City, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible just yet. So, I'm unfortunately going to have to end the episode here. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, maybe leave a like. I know it went on quite a bit, but whatever. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we will defeat Mexico and continue to expand our influence in the Americas. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a great rest of your day.